Uh, here's another question. I don't know how you'll be able to answer this or if you want to, but how has this program changed your way of thinking about college in general and what a college education is all about? Because some people look at college and maybe have some idea of what it is. It's supposed to be like this, or we're supposed to study this, or we're supposed to go here. And sometimes people come to Chris and they're like, wow, it's a little different than what I expected. You know, when I was back, you know, back home, uh, a lot of people, a lot of the people, older people in my church, my parents, my mom, and my um, grandparents, you know, I've heard before that you go to college not necessarily for career training, but for to form your mind, and it's all about formation, and then you know maybe career training as a as a side effect, as a, as it were, but not really just to you know you know like a carpentry class that you right. carpentry. I didn't really you know I heard that I I kind of knew it was true, but I didn't like know it was true until I came here and realized that wow you know I sit here in philosophy class and I might not directly apply this to, you know, working on cars or, or, or flying an airplane or something right. in my future career, but this is still way more important than sitting through four years of direct career training, because then I can learn how to think, how to use my head in anywhere in life. It's, it's It covers everything you can possibly ever do in the future versus a narrow, a narrow just career career training or vocational training or whatever you want to call it that you get at a local college or community college or even some you know big universities that only focus on that. So you kind of appreciate the cost of liberal arts versus technical training right. or vocational training? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, so I was talking to one counselor here. It was Tommy, actually, the Irish guy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he says, oh, so do you think you want to go to Christian? And I said, well, you know, it's great, but I don't think I want to because I want to do their art or dental hygiene. And then he looks at me and he says, is that what you want to do the rest of your life? And I was kind of quiet. And I was like, um, and he says, see, you know, I thought the same thing. He says, but I came here and it completely changed my way of thinking. And so then he starts throwing all the philosophy questions that Dr. Cuddleback was asking us. And I was just like, you know, it's like I fell down. I don't know any of this. And he says, I know, but you learn it. And you learn all these things. And you learn not just how to, you know, clean teeth all day and scrape away all day, but you learn how to think for the rest of your life. And it's not just a two-year or four-year program you do and then live your rest of your life doing the same thing every single day, but this makes you actually think. And so it's like, oh, you know, so I, I really want to go to Christendom now. And I thought, you know, I was getting all these college papers from different colleges everywhere, and I was kicking all the ones that weren't in Texas. It's like, unless it's in Texas, I'm not going to it. And I was like, Virginia's too far away. It's too cold up here. <laughs> not now. <it's> <laughs> yeah, I like it right now. <laughs> but, um, and then I come here, and the people are really nice. I hear they have dances here. I love dancing. It. And the guy's actually asking, you know. And so I'm sitting with, <laughs> hey. I really like that point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At my school, no one asks anybody. All right. And I have to, and they think I'm weird for that. <laughs> and so the fact that you, you feel like you're a family here, and so I'd miss my family at home, but you have a bigger one here. And you wouldn't be lonely because even though you're states away, you just feel at home here. So And you can still be a dental assistant someday. It's not oh, yeah, just because yeah. you come to Christian doesn't mean you can't do that. It right. doesn't, doesn't take away from that. It just gives you a little mm -hmm. more that maybe you don't, maybe you won't do that forever. It's nice yeah. to kind of say, well, the, the education here is forever. It's for whatever job you want to do. Yes. Annie. Um, but, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> say it, Annie, say it. <laughs> well, before I, um, I, before I came here, I kind of, like, gave up on my, like, dream of coming to Catholic College, and I decided I was going to, like, just settle for my home college. University at my where I live in oh I live in Nevada okay and um but then I came here and I didn't even know a place like this existed out there like everyone is so nice and and um you <laughs> and you um oh the classes they just like your mind is like, <laughs> like philosophy I never heard of it. <laughs> Everyone's so much smarter than me here, but 
like they teach you because that's what they're supposed to do. But so then this coming to this, I really love Christopher, and coming here made me like determined that I need to be around this kind of environment because this is the kind of place that gets you to your ultimate goal, which is heaven, not not just your career. Right. Well, that's great. It's good to hear that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I really did not want to come here at all. Like I've had my mindset on one school for three years now. Okay. And like it's really close to home and everything, and like I really like it because like I can go back and see my friends and everybody that I know is basically tending to go to one school. Okay. But um, coming to the summer program has actually started to have me change my mind. Like I actually. Really, I'm seriously considering coming here now. Like, <laughs> my, like I, I want to be a teacher. Okay. I want to be a teacher. I want to be able to major in music. And that's like, but now that I think about it, this is extremely important. And like, everything that we're learning is definitely something that I can take with me, like, through life. Like, yeah, I can teach. Like, I want to be a high school English teacher. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. And I can do my music stuff, like, but this is way more important than any of that. Well, just so you know, you don't. It's not an either or. We have we have plenty. I mean, Dr. Donald's own son, Hugh. He's a he's a graduate of Christum, degree in English. He's an English teacher for high school. He also is in charge of the drama department at the high school too. I mean, he's he's doing stuff that some people go and get majors in that field, but you don't have to. So you don't. You you can still have a degree. You can be a music teacher. You can be an English teacher. And still go to Christendom. I mean, it's not a you don't have to. It's not a pick. You don't have to do one or the other. You can do it all. I mean, really, you really can. We have alumni that can do this. That do all kinds of things that are out there. Uh, I myself majored in theology and became a restaurant manager. <laughs> I mean, it's the craziest story that I'll tell you a little bit later. But it's just something that you know people don't think about. You don't have to major in the thing that you want to do. You, you want to get an education so that you can get to heaven, as, as Annie had said. And this is something that. Yes, I quoted you, Annie. We want to get to heaven. <laughs> so this is something that the education at Christendom gives you a well-balanced education, classical liberal arts. You're educated, and then you can actually do whatever it is you want to do. So it's, it's good that you've seen that. That's what we hoped would, people would see. All right, now, when you leave this program, which you do have to leave, you can't stay here forever, when you do leave this program, what do you think you'll miss the most? Everything. Okay. Dancing. All right, dancing. Oh, who said Tommy? I'm going to miss the absolute reverence for everything that has to do with Catholic faith. Okay. The whole atmosphere, I like what Noah said about the fact that everything is seamless, and it really is. Um, so, I mean, everyone here is just so engaged in the pursuit of the truth, and that's so beautiful to see, and, um, you know, we live in a culture that you see less and less right. of that all the time, so... I'm really going to miss that about you. Yeah. Uh, Annie. Um, I'm going to miss the gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, mean, I mean, the gentlemanly... Gentlemanliness of the men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to miss all the friends that I made here. Okay. I made a lot of friends, and my roommates, and everybody here exactly like me. And I didn't know there was anybody who was weird like me out there. So I feel like that I'm not the only one. Okay. Maggie? Um... I have many things that I'm going to miss. All right, let's go to one. Okay. <laughs> um, one is probably the, um, the reverence that people have for God. They actually like put God at the center of their life and everything else is just secondary to God. And I really like that. And this, the place like where I live, everyone's just like, oh, you know, whatever. Like They don't take that into consideration. And All right. I really love it here. I'm actually going to miss adoration. And I like the other too. And those are the things I didn't think I like at all, but they were actually one of my favorite things. Well, you can continue that at home, hopefully. Uh, uh, Sean? I'm going to miss all the people, all the friends that I made here, and the classes. It's so much nicer than high school classes. All right. <laughs> I'm going to miss the teachers and my friends because textbooks aren't as interesting as the teachers are. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave? Uh, again, just the whole ethos of the school. In a society where most colleges are being inoculated by relativism, yeah. and no one stands up for the truth anymore. Christendom is really standing as a beacon for, like a beacon of hope, actually, for the pursuit of truth and happiness. So I'll stop. That's fine. It's the same thing Pat Buchanan used when he referred to Christendom College. He said, Christendom's like a beacon of hope out there. So that's neat.
All right, well, thank you very much. I think that's all we have time for. So, uh,